Hello friends, welcome back to LMSDaily.com. In today's video, we will see about a Moodle plugin which allows you to easily create the closed question types right in your browser. The closed question types which are also known as embedded answers question type are one of the most widely used questions in Moodle and it allows you to embed different type of answers like short answers, radio type questions and so on. So we will use this plugin to easily create the closed questions in your Moodle question bank. You can download this closed question editor plugin from the link which is given in the description section below or you can also search it in the Moodle plugins repository directly. So once this plugin is installed on your Moodle site, you can navigate to the course where you would like to add this closed question types and then go to the question bank. Now in this question bank, let me click on this create a new question button here and scroll down until I see this embedded answers which is the closed question type. The description of this question type is displayed on the right pane. So you can see that the question of this type are very flexible and as Moodle says that it can only be created by entering text containing special codes. So this plugin will allow you to create those special codes without getting worried about them. So let me click on this add button here. Now kindly note that the plugin which we have installed is available only for the tiny MC editor. So if you are having this tiny MC as your preferred editor on your Moodle site, then you will be able to use this plugin. And if you are still using the Atto text editor, then you might not be able to see this plugin and use it. So as you can see now after installing this plugin uh, and I'm using this tiny MC editor on this embedded answers question page, you will see this new icon. This icon will appear only when you are adding an embedded answers question type in Moodle. This will not appear on all the different other question types. Now we will just add a question. So let us give a question name here. I will give it as test close question here. Under the question text, you can enter your question. So let me say that select the correct scientific name of human beings and here I would like to give them a radio options of let me say two options and ask my students to select the correct option. So I will click on this icon. Now you will see that there are multiple options displayed on this pop up window here. These are essentially the different types of questions which can be created by using this plugin. So if I will select the first one, you will see the description of this question type like multiple choice and a single response. Similarly, uh, this H and V means horizontal and vertical and S means the shuffle within the questions. And then we have this multiple response. So basically multi choice and multi response and then we have numerical short answers and then the short answers <coughs> here. So let me say for this example, I will go with multi choice and uh, vertical column of radio button. So I would like to show the options as the vertical columns and I will click on this select question type. Now it will open a new pop up wherein you can enter the default mark for this question here on the first field and then you will have the different options for entering the answers. So let me say that. This is the first option and I would like to give them as feedback with this and for the grade I will select correct. So this will give them 100% grade for this answer if they select this one. Then let me say that this is the other answer which they will see and 
then these are my three options set for this question now now click on this insert questions you can also add or delete any choices by going to this uh, plus icon it will add another blank answer for you you can choose this delete icon to delete this third row or any other row and you can also order them differently by clicking this up or down icons here now just click on this insert question here and you can see that the code which has to be manually created has been entered by this plugin here so this is the beauty of this plugin that it allows you to easily add this kind of embedded answers or the closed questions easily in your Moodle site now just uh, go through all the different options which are pretty common for all the different other questions types and click this save changes button now we have saved the uh, question and you can see that this uh, is displayed here uh, test close question so i will just give you a preview of this question how it will look alike so now you can see that uh, the question text is displayed on the top and the options are displayed vertically like this and if a user selects the incorrect option then he will see that your answer is incorrect so this is the feedback what we entered in the uh, options and then the marks obtained by the user and what is the correct answer. So this is how you can also use this closed question editor plugin on your Moodle site. But kindly note that it can be used only with the tiny MCE text editor and not with the Eto text editor. Thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon for your youtube channel and if you have faced any problems while following this screencast please don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments section below i will be happy to help you out thank you very much for watching this video have a great day